what's good youtube it's your girl miss golden 83 and i am here to do a general sneak peek for the sign of gemini okay gemini you guys are last but not least on the zodiac lineup this week hopefully you guys are doing well remember you guys these are general messages not personal so take what resonates and pass the rest to the next okay so if you guys are not familiar um this is your permanent spot every month week two okay um pretty much started doing the readings like this as of last month so hopefully you guys have gotten acclimated okay let's go ahead and get started okay got two from the top Two from the bottom. And one energetically from the middle. Okay. So, Geminis, let's see what's going on in your energy to start the week. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the King of Swords right in the middle of your reading, okay, the Ace of Swords, and then the page of cups okay so automatically kind of seeing this i kept like <laughs> knocking the cards out of place <laughs> a little bit okay and so it feels almost like in that little bit of movement kind of like some close calls or something like that for some of you okay not sure if that means in a sense of maybe physicality, in the sense of maybe um, some clumsiness or something in in that nature, okay? Um, I'm surely <laughs> a little bit um, like that from time to time, even just walking through my house. I, you know, my mind is somewhere else and my body is <laughs> in another spot, okay? So... Nonetheless, let's get into your reading that came in for some reason for some of you, okay? It's not for everybody. Now, let's start off with this Six of Swords, okay? I feel as though with the Six of Swords, you have a lot of Swords energy in your reading, okay, in this spread, okay? And so I feel like it's a transition of maybe communication or some form of movement, okay? Six of Swords is um talking about like moving forward okay and the way i'm taking this as moving forward as because of the way that this six of swords is actually moving forward towards this knight of cups okay and so if it were maybe the other way around let's say we move it and then all of a sudden it's moving away from that knight of cups okay but we have and see i just knocked the cards over again okay <laughs> so um like i said it's more of a of a vibe of someone either you're moving towards someone or someone moving towards you okay and gemini you may be wondering you know if someone is moving or having any thoughts about you it is this knight of cups okay um, very suave, very debonair, um, in the sense of the armor that he's wearing here, okay, but comes, uh, bearing feelings, okay, um, sentiment, if you will, okay, um, primarily, and then you have this king of swords right in the middle of your reading, okay, air energy, you, Libra, and Aquarius okay 
all throughout this reading, okay? And so I feel as though this is possibly what you're wanting, okay? You don't want just, you know, light sentiment and uh, maybe uh, banter of some sort, okay? It comes with a little bit of maturity, but it's mostly very um, suave type energy, very charming, okay? You don't have time for charming. You want King of Swords energy. You want some truth, okay? You want someone who's able to really truly communicate, okay? And I think that is the vibe that's going on here. With that being said, you then have this Ace of Swords Major Arcana where again, it's just like, just be open, okay? In a sense of not you, okay? Now you openly, you know, inform this person what it is that you want and that you require um, within a relationship, okay? Um, it could be a relationship, it could be uh, work-related, but I'm tr primarily feeling um, a, a relationship type vibe, okay? And so you want some true offering of honesty, okay? With that being said, the Page of Cups is here, okay? And <laughs> with the knocking of the cards, I'm, I'm feeling this vibe of kind of fumbling over words, okay? Um, finding it really hard to tell you exactly what it is that they want to tell you, okay? So um, it may be a lot of fidgeting, um, nervousness. Uh, you may even see some, you know, perspiration, okay? Um, as far as them talking to you, okay? Um, so Page of Cups energy is going to start off very slow and very lighthearted um, in order to try and kind of like break the ice over this, you know, seriousness type vibe, okay? So somewhat playful as um, every time when I see kind of like this, usual page of cups and they have this, you know, kind of turban-esque type hat in the fish in the cup. Um, a little bit of Pisces energy there is what I'm feeling, um, where it is a little bit fun and flirtatious. Okay. So let's get into your clarifiers, Gemini. We have one from the top for the six of swords, second from the top for the knight of cups, one from the bottom for the King of Swords, second from the bottom for the Ace of Swords, and then one energetically from the middle for this Page of Cups, okay? So let's go ahead and see what's going on with each one of these. We have... Ace of Hearts, which is Ace of Cups with the Six of Swords. Again, moving towards love, okay? Moving towards finally opening up towards you or you opening up to someone, okay? Opening up yourself to love, period. If you have been kind of reluctant to, you know, do it lately, Gemini, um, I know you guys have kind of been like a little bit back and forth in your energy when it comes to love. Um, and so it's good to see this refreshing energy from you guys, okay? As far as either opening up to it or someone opening up to you, okay? Next, we have this Knight of Cups with the Princess of Pentacles, okay? Uh, Princess of Pentacles, uh, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You don't have to be dealing with one of those signs, but you could have it in your chart. It's an honorable mention, okay? So this Knight of Cups is pretty much kind of seeing the value in you possibly, okay? Um, maybe at the time or currently, um, you are kind of, you know, you have this value about you, you have potential, or maybe in a past, 
um, in the past, if you've known this person for some time, um, they are familiar with you from a long time ago. Okay. Um, I, one thing about pentacles, I will say is, you know, there's worth there. Okay. It's not just monetary wealth or, um, meaning behind pentacles. It also states, you know, someone's value or moral compass, things of that nature. Okay. And some people can kind of say that it's almost like a, like a status, if you will. Okay. And so lower pen, pentacles for me, not really primarily looking at just the king and queen of pentacles. Um, that shows, of course, maturity. Um, but when you're in your lower level of pentacles, it's kind of that, you know, I don't want to, you know, you know, discern it as low value, okay, but just, you know, slight potential, okay? Um, and so that possibly is where you both were at some point in time um, in this relationship or dynamic that you had with this person, okay? Next is the King of Swords to the Empress, okay? Empress clarifying this King of Swords. Like I said, Knight and Princess to now Empress in King of Swords, okay? Like I said, someone being very direct, okay? Um, and stating what it is that they want, all right? Um, energy has changed, all right, over the course of time. Maybe, again, like I said, you guys both started in this, you know, phase. There's a progression, if you will, um, within this dynamic, this connection, okay? Um, like I said at the beginning, you wanting someone to be a little bit more direct, okay? If you're directing your communication, you want your person to be direct in communication. Voice how you really feel, okay? And so this empress to this king of swords, if this is where your person is, is kind of like um, in a sense of how they communicate with you. It may be philosophical at times. It may be um, very wise energy, okay? Um, but you, on the other hand, could have this very nurturing energy um, about you. However, you also demand some form of respect um, from your person. Um, but like I said, it also gives me this vibe of progression of both your maturity over time, okay? And maybe this is where you have finally transcribed to, okay? Um, others of you, it could be this King of Swords um, energy finally coming to you and telling you exactly how they feel about you and how they see you as the Empress, okay, in their eyes, all right? So let's move forward to the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords to the Queen of Wands, okay? Ace of Swords to the Queen of Wands. Very demanding energy, okay? <laughs> like I said before, okay? This Queen of Wands is uh, someone who is very determined and is very passionate, okay? Um, is very alluring, if you will, and knows exactly what they want, okay? He or she, get in where you fit in, okay? Um, as you know, we all have both feminine and masculine energy within us. So um, it's not really about gender. If you're a male and you feel like you're in this queen of wands energy, by all means, rock with it, okay? It means your feminine energy is strong in the sense of blending in with your masculine energy um, as far as being able to use discernment and voice exactly what it is that you want, okay? Not only are you grounded in what your true wants and desires are, you're willing to speak on them, okay? Now, that being said, we have this page of cups mm, with a seven of pentacles, okay? Seven of pentacles and page of cups, like I said, history is here, okay? 
there is a form of a connection, okay? However, it also means to me that it has taken a very long time, okay? Seven of Pentacles is always talking about longevity, history, things of that nature, because it's referring to, in this card, a harvest waiting to flourish, okay? As far as, you know, planting seeds and waiting for things to grow, okay? So with this page of cups, maybe there has been a long time coming of this person um, coming to you and telling you exactly how they feel. Um, and even though they have known you for a long time, it could be that you are so mature, Gemini, in your communication that it makes them feel like this page. It makes them feel like a little kid again, okay? They are very shy around you. Doesn't matter how long you've known them. It's just that's how they are around you, okay? They have to start feeling comfortable and secure within themselves, this king of swords energy, okay? In order to really connect with you and, and, and tell you exactly how they really feel, okay? So... That being said, let's go into this Elemental Oracle so we can wrap up your reading, Gemini. Really nice energy here. Very interested to see how your energy plays out for the rest of the week. So, that's three shuffles and now I'm going to separate by three and refer to the bottom of the deck for your advice okay so at the bottom of the deck we have hmm, beginnings east number three beginnings east number three okay centering yourself making some progression with your mind body and spirit um, in regards to, you know, starting all anew, okay? Um, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> I thought there was going to be something else. Sorry for the pause. Um, but let's get into the book so we can go ahead and read your message, okay? The girl is burning on fumes. That might be what it is. I'm actually ready to lay down after I finish you guys reading and get this posted. So this is air energy. Okay. You have clarity mountain underneath. Okay. And so that may be coming to you as well um, in regards to this communication from someone. Like I said, this is air energy. East beginnings. Worry not. A new dawn is breaking. Let go of the old and embrace the new. Flow forward without heaviness or anxiety. New ways of being are calling to you. Speak up with a clear voice. Do not resist change. Okay. Austur, which is ancient Norse for east. Okay. As the East was associated with the air element, it has come to mean a much more cerebral destination or way of processing. The East was a place to find your fortune, a different way to be in a different way to be and innovation. Okay. So whatever changes you are going through, um, Gemini, they are warranted, they are necessary, they are refreshing, and they are a chance to become who you truly are meant to be, okay? If this is a solo journey that you are embracing, okay? For others of you, if it is in reference to uh, new beginnings in a relationship, the sun rose in the east, so the direction herald new beginnings and fresh starts, okay? So be open to those, Gemini. I feel like you are with this Ace of Cups here with the Six of 
swords, you are choosing love over anything else and fresh new beginnings, okay? So with that being said, very happy for you guys, Gemini. Um, I will let you guys know there are four more readings this week along with the energy shout out on Sunday, okay? Um, so until then, peace.